Oh, oh, listen to that. If you listen very carefully, you can hear RimWorld screaming because we've rammed it full of even more mods. Hello, welcome back to the Joris Bonson Advent Calendar, where today we have door number 18. And as a reminder, blue number days on the Advent Calendar are double mod days. Previous double mod days have included House Cats and Doom. Today, behind door number 18, behind uh, Generis Bonbarian, we have Rimatomics and Dragon's Descent. Rimatomics I've used before, but there's some things that we have not seen in it, even after three or four playthroughs with Rimatomics in. So there's something I'm going to aim for with Santa that we have never done before with that mod. And Dragon's Descent is a mod that somehow I've missed entirely, despite the amount of medieval mods that we've played. This looks like a really, really well-made mod, so I'm looking forward to seeing if we can get Santa or Rudolph uh, a big fuck-off pet dragon. You're all wondering, aren't you? What is day number 19? What is day 19 for the Joris Advent Calendar, my friends? <laughs> That's right. It's Gerald of Rivia. I will admit, I will admit, you gotta, you've gotta admit, that's one of the better ones, right? That's, that's one of the better Jorises we've seen. We'll have a Joris recap at the end of it, and I'll put them all on screen, uh, at the same time. That's one of my favourite Jorises I think I've ever done. That's good shit. Like I said, past the 11th, they, they started going uphill a little bit. Uh, honestly, past 19, they're all gold. They're, they are just all gold, so you've, you've really got something to look forward to every day. Uh, you know even if the episode's garbage. The other thing worth mentioning briefly is I did start playing earlier today. I did kind of a test save just to test out some of the weapons and uh, see some of the things we haven't yet seen. And it shouldn't be any surprise when I say that the most powerful weapons in the game are the Doom weapons, but I was genuinely kind of surprised by some of the other weapons as well. Um, specifically, the uh, Warhammer 40k weapons we've got included. Th some of those are super, super powerful. No idea how you get them. Like Necron weapons and shit. No idea how you get them. They are super strong and I can't find any way to craft them. Because I used the dev mode kind of finish all research thing. Um, and there wasn't like a Necron crafting table or anything. So, gonna tell you get that. They might just be a Crest World item. At which point we need to keep our, our eyes open for them. Because they sound really, really OP. I also worked out the best armor combinations for mages as well. If we want to focus on that more than just having the... Um, the Swift Strikes, the Swift Strike suits. That's hard to say for everyone, which is kind of a nice compromise between work and and armor. Right now, queued up, we have all of the antimatter annihilation stuff. I am still going to carry on with that because antimatter annihilation is required for making some of the best mage and weapons armor. More on that later. It, it took a weird experimentation between like three or four months to find the right combination. What we want right now is Rematomics, obviously, to get unlocked to start off with. So what I want to do with Rim Atomics, because we played Rim Atomics a few times, firstly, the, the turrets are going to be kind of nice for that. The important thing of Rim Atomics is the, it is, is the nuclear weapons, in my opinion. I've never seen them before. I've never done them before. We've never seen them in any series. I, I'm sure many of you guys have probably played around with them, but we've never got up to the stage where it's been viable in any of our playthroughs, because it takes a very, very long time to actually get the plutonium needed to... Uh, to power the weapons. Now, we've got another, like, 12 days minimum of this series, right? If we build that breeder reactor today, get it done today, see if we can even get up to the breeder reactor today, because that's the one that more quickly produces plutonium. By the end of the series, we can definitely have some nuclear ICBMs ready for Santa for a nice New Year's treat. Ultimately, you do have to bring in the New Year with uh, with fireworks, right? Uh, and, and ours is going to be uh, extreme explosive uh, death and nuclear radiation fireworks. Somebody also said as well, and I actually had no idea you could do this, and if this works, you're a genius. They said that we can pump the oil directly from our chem fuel into uh, the ship. Oh my god, look, you actually can. You are a genius. Wow. So we can connect the ship straight up to that, huh? That's fucking cool. That means I don't need to do the chem fuel siphon anymore, and it'll automatically fill it up, which means Santa's journey's just got all the more easier. We're still on Santa. Oh, right, of course we're still on Santa. Because mostly what happened yesterday was was nothing. And of course, the storytellers are... It, it's a 25% chance to change storyteller on every new season. And it's a 5% chance to change storyteller um, on every event. Because Safety Santa is a, a more passive storyteller, you know, designed to balance out all these other crazy storytellers we've got, we get less events with him anyway. But because we had so many people last time, we only passed, what, like 19 days? And we had a storyteller change during that time anyway. So, I mean, a season is 15 days. So we could be changing the storyteller kind of any time now. I wonder if it fires 
at the start of a new season. Because if that's the case, then we won't get a new storyteller for like another 10 days or so. Or, or well, how many days? Like 11 days? I don't really know. What is it? 15 days? What did I just say? 12 uh, uh, days? Take away three? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's our big old oil pipeline set up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. 2,000 fuel. Oh, that's so cool. I'm actually genuinely quite impressed by that. We've got these big old pipes going all over the base. I kind of like that as well. Very industrial. Somebody pointed out, and this is quite tragic, and I didn't see it on the class description. Uh, social is a high... Let's even say it on here. Um, commander use size about their presence to inspire nearby pawns because when he goes use Tremor and do his bidding, he considers menial tasks beneath his status and is generally a lackluster worker. What I didn't realize is it is determined by your social stats. Now, it doesn't actually say that in the class description, so I feel like I'm let off the hook a little bit there. Maybe it said it on the book and I completely missed it, but commanders need a high sh social status to be able to perform well. Our guy has uh, level zero. What I'm saying is I may have wasted this guy's time. The current goals then, what have we got? We've got to get a werewolf for the werewolf mod. We've got to, so we've got the cat girl, that's good. We've got to give the cat girl tentacles. We've got the Colts mod and I haven't had a huge amount with it yet. So I think that is something that I would definitely like to see. The cat girl with tentacles, everybody loves to see it. We've got to go and collect some dragons. That's also quite high priority. And of course, we've got to deliver some presents with Santa. Uh, the SRTS mod that, that obviously was suggested after the fact, um, that allows us to build bombers. And like I said, the nuclear devices can be dropped out of that any mortal item. So I want to build another SRTS ship. I believe the basic level one can also... Yeah, look, four out of four bombs. We could use this as Santa's little bomber as well, which is um, not very Christmassy, I will admit, but kind of cool. We could put a little hanger, and we could have Santa, Natsa, and Rudolph doing fucking strafing runs on people when they turn up. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I should build a hanger then. We've got a lot of dead space over here, huh? Darling enough, the problem we've got right now is uh, people don't really have much to do. <laughs> I feel like I need to... I don't really know. What am I going to do with our people? We haven't got any crafting that needs to be done. We're waiting on research, ultimately. I could put down a few more research benches. Like, what are our researchers doing right now? Natsa is... Uh, uh, what are you doing right now? You're crafting, right? Maybe I should take Natsa off of crafting and have... Mr. Cake do that instead? Mr. Cake is sleeping. Okay, so we might actually have something to do. I think let's lower you off entirely. Try and spread the jobs around a little bit, because... Having one person try to do all this stuff while people are idle is, is just a fucking waste of time. We could have a staggered schedule like we had before. Wow, that's like immediately solved the problem. Oh, look at that. It's only when they go with nothing to do. And of course, he can't do dumb labor. Holy shit. I can't believe how easy that was. Ah, nature. Don't we all love nature? I've decided it's a nice fun side activity for today. I'm going to pave over everything. I'm just going to fucking pave everything. Fuck nature. I'm done. I'm also just building a little hangar bay. I I'll also be honest with you. I have also just removed the Yeo's Meteor mod. Uh, because I built this entire hangar bay. I was very careful about juggling the uh, mountainous roofs so shit didn't cave in on us. And then uh, what caved in on us was the biggest roof of all. That being a fuck off meteor. It killed three of our people instantly and knocked down like all of this stuff. And I said no. I said no. That is enough of you Yeo's Meteor. So I had to reload back. 24 minutes, which is why it's currently 2319. Uh, and probably the last time you'll have seen anything was, I don't know, an hour ago. I don't know. Obviously, I haven't edited it yet. Fuck. I was so angry. I was going to just remove it quietly and not say anything. But you know what? You have to know. I can't handle that mod anymore. I cannot. I, I just can't. It just gets right on my fucking nerves. Somebody asked yesterday why Christmas Joris was basically out for the whole episode. And the simple answer was Christmas Joris is awaiting his final leg implant. Uh, his front... Uh, sorry, his rear right leg. So, we don't have another bionic leg right now. I've got a thought. I'm going to use Christmas Joris for a bit of experimentation, which I know is high-tier heresy, but hear me out. There won't be any permanent damage, and Christmas Joris won't even remember it's happened. Santa is there for a reason, and that's the fact that he can reverse time. So, here's what I'm thinking. We pull one of Joris's legs off, we reverse time, and we see if that leg comes back. Because if that comes back, we can then put the leg back onto Joris to replace his one bionic leg using the other leg we got from backwards in time Joris. Does that make sense? Boom. And leg returns. No. It doesn't work. Fuck. Oh, look. Here we go. Visitors. Taxes build. Very nice. Research expended. Anti-matter technology. Wow. 
So we got Rim Atomics, which is nuclear power. And now we've also got Antimatter. This is cool. You can send the data to anger the Ultra Tech faction, but you consider the power of this technology to give you to be worth the risk. Cool. Using your multi analyzer and long range comms equipment, you attempt to gain access to the Ultra Tech faction's database. Next up comes Particle Accelerator, which isn't antimatter. We've got those in real life. We had a comment now from some smart boy saying, uh, excuse me, Mr. Streamer, uh, particle accelerators actually have, uh, anti-protons. Okay, yes, fine. What I meant by that was, in RimWorld, we're gonna be using it to make hyper alloy, which I'm then gonna turn into fancy mage armor, or a big laser beam that fires a sun cannon. I don't think they're doing that in Switzerland, okay? Maybe they are. Shit, maybe that's why they're so rich. Have I just uncovered the secret to all that Swiss p power? All this antimatter stuff and room atomic stuff is obviously going to need somewhere to put it all. And we're fairly limited on, on room. Uh, unless we want to put it up here. But obviously this is fairly uh, vulnerable to attack. I, I mean, ideally we want to put like smack bang in the middle here. Where we can we, we could move the farms up here. But then of course if we want to harvest any crops. They've got to walk over to the other side of the fucking map. Which is a pain in the ass. I have an idea. But I need to do some testing first. If it works, hey, I'll keep it as a surprise. And it'll be, it'll be kind of cool. I will keep all the testing stuff, and I'll chuck it in at the end of the episode, if it does work, that is. Um, and we'll see we'll, 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 we'll see how this goes. But I'm just going to leave you guys to keep cracking away with the research in the meantime. <gasps> oh, shit. Man filth. Oh, God, Joris, get out of there. Christ, we, these guys are a menace because they throw those horrible fucking granite chunks that lag the game out because they spawn in, like... 10 chunks with each thing and they could each throw one. Joris, get out of there. Animal emergency. This is a fucking emergency. Oh, God, they're so laggy. They're magic trees, too. What the hell is that? Oh, it's an... <laughs> I thought one had, like, a magic tentacle. It's just a dead emu. Okay, okay, okay. We need flamethrowers, don't we? I should bring flamethrowers. Uh, squad up. Destroy them. We've got a fire mage. What are you talking about? Zerato, get down here. Oh. Oh, 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 you fools. You fools. Let them get a bit closer. Die. Yes. <laughs> Fuck nature. Pave them over when they're dead. Right, fly. Get out of there. Get out of there. Boop. I like that. Very good. Nice work. The jetpacks sound like, um, they sound like the gun noise from Alien, don't they? I wonder if that's intentional. Just start firing. Santa, get the BFG back. I'm not fucking around with these trees. They've got too much too much HP, and they cause too much of a mess to be pissing around with. Kill them all. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn. No immortal trees, I'm afraid. Do we even behead those? Oh, we missed a bloody load. Santa, you missed fucking loads here, pal. Come back. Kill them all. Right, let's try that again. Come on. There's got to be some... it got to be one of them, surely. Fucking nothing. Wow. I got at long last. We've actually recruited someone. Here we are. The elf formerly known as Falgnith is now Mr. Kitzler. Hello. Uh, what can we do for you then, my friend? Well, let's get some arcane... Maybe we already have an arcane gem. Uh, nothing yet. Let's get Natsu on it immediately. So we can either make this person a, a, a geomancer, a bright mage, or a paladin. I like the paladin simply because the paladin has a really, really nice passive buff. There we go, one gem of arcane insight. Mr. Kitzler, give yourself one of those. Let's write a couple of these blank tomes as well, see what we get. I'd really like a blood mage. Those are really, really good for for crowd control. What the hell was that? Uh, I guess we'll never know. What was that? Shadow. Oh, that's interesting. Like a warlock, right? Um, let's write another one. Oh, no, a shadow is a separate class entirely. I don't know what. Nature, that's a druid, correct? Yeah, uh, what is that one then? Uh, shadow is... In the dead of night, fear reveals itself in the blade's reflection. The shadow awakens. Sasuke, you are my brother. That's so fucking edgy. Uh, I don't think I want that. <laughs> I can't, I can't have that one. Uh, maybe we should just go with a paladin. Oh, we can't go for a paladin, right? Because the paladin is not magic, it's a fighter class. What about a bright mage? I've never seen a bright mage before. Let's go for bright mage. Fuck it. That's a, that's a class I've never seen. Go. Boom. What do these things do then? Uh, we've got light lance. Focus light into an intense beam that burns everything along its path. This ability is empowered by store light. Excellent. We've got solar powered. 
target is laced with burning lashes of light. Your ability is empowered by stored light. So we have the secondary bar here, like hate with the um, death knight or with like blood with the um, blood man. I don't know what he's called. You got light burst. Uh, crits flash of light. The blinded sawing pawns corner in the blood. Oh, that's cool. You able to distinguish between friend and foe. Oh, that's really cool. Riding the wave. Uh, rides a wave of light for near instant travel. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, neither the tar caster's position or target's position could be roofed. Ah, that's a shame. Okay. Um, refraction. It's a wall of light that affects projectiles, so they pass through the wall. Uh, enemy projectiles may be offset by their intended targets. Okay, cool. And then finally, we've got Spirit of Light. Some is a spirit of light that aids and protects the caster. The ability requires 60 mana to sustain. Oh, they get like this ultimate familiar. Detects, deflects attacks, cauterizes wounds of down pawns, attacks enemies when drafted, proves a move nearby allies, creates a burst of draw, protects it. That's really cool. Protects the caster's dreams. What the fuck does that mean? Learn using the spirit of light within a scroll. Okay. That sounds really cool. Uh, Bright mage then. Give me one of those. Right, let's see what these things do. Hey, come over here. Right, stand. Oh, raid. You wouldn't. Trader, you would. You wouldn't. Oh, I think that's a raid. Or it's just crashed, which is arguably worse than both put together. Well, I mean the... Oh, fuck. Not the razor armadillos. Quick, blast him with a light ball. Quick, blast him. What have we got here? Light lance. Yeah, no, it's too far away. Sunfire. Fuck, it's still too far away. Go, 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 Mr. Kit, so you can save us. Fuck. Oh, my God. What the hell are they wearing? What the hell is that? Christopher Lee? I loved you in Star Wars. Decorated void armor. <gasps> Wait, void armor? No, 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 no. Oh, Antimatter Annihilation. Fuck. I was going to say Void Armor. Oh, dear. That means we're dead. Uh, Sunfire. Quick. Cruel Sun. Go. And die. Wait, one of them's turned into a fucking werewolf. <gasps> oh, no. What are these weapons? Grenadier Gauntlet. Oh, my God. They've turned up with some crazy high-end weaponry. Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Run. This is actually the hardest raid we've ever had. Without a shadow of a doubt. The sunlight's actually doing some good... Fucking hell, that's actually doing some good work. Oh, they've put their shields up. Wait, they use time field on themselves. Look, they've used time fields and they're not part of... They're not in reality anymore. You see that? They just count as time bubble. They're not They're not actually characters we can interact with. That actually might work in our favor because that means we can pick a few off without them being able to retaliate. Santa, you know what you must do. Santa, you know what you must do. Jetpack? Jump? We haven't got either. I should really give him a jetpack if he's wearing this stuff, huh? Right, kill those ones before the other ones wake up. Get in there. Oh, they've got long-range weapons. Be careful, Santa. Be careful. St fuck. Stay within the... Nice. Stay within the slightly... Uh, not so deep. Not so deep water. Lasers bouncing off the shield. That didn't bounce off his shield. That bounced off his fucking face. <laughs> He's fine, though. Wow. USC shield about 50. Okay. Another hit from that, and he would have been... Oh, good hits, good hits, good hits. The werewolf was reverted back. Is that because we killed it? What was that noise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a great example of when not to use time bubble. Also, the lasers aren't affecting a shield because it's a laser. Only kinetics hurt shields. Oh, God, like that. Yeah, okay, shields are down. Be careful, Santa. Now the lasers will hurt. They will hurt a lot, actually. Oh! Okay. I really shouldn't have... Oh, no. <laughs> you motherfucker. What kind of range is on that mage attack, though? They've just pulled Santa into the mix. Well, Santa's dead. We're just going to have to... He's dead. He's dead. Right, Eye of the Storm. We summon that anywhere. Sorry, Santa. Mr. Cake, kill them. I'm sorry, Santa. It's got to happen. Oh, he's out. He's out. He's out. Go. Get, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. They skipped him. They skipped him. Run. What the hell are they doing? Oh my god, they're, they're... Oh no, they used their own Eye of the Storm. Wow. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. Uh, should we move away from that? Move away, move away, move away, move away. Move away, run. Luckily, we've got fast armor. Yes, die. 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 Lightning bolt and die. That did nothing. They sucked Santa in. He couldn't move. That's a powerful... Whatever this is, is super, super powerful. Right, get back over here. Oh, God, it's still coming. Oh, God, be careful. Be careful, be careful, be careful. It's gone? It's gone. Look at it didn't hit our giant gas storage pump. Otherwise, that would have uh, 
Definitely not ended well. We need some more defense along here, don't we? We need to build something here because they're attacking us in our only weak point in the entire map. What a bitch. Um, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. Solon, get out of there. You're, you are useless right now. Go and hide in the tomb. I think that's probably the most appropriate thing we could do. They're fleeing. The turret managed to get in a little bit of a shot there. We need to send... Okay, how is Santa doing? Did he lose his head? We've got to make a choice now. Shall we leave Santa to resurrect? Or shall we resurrect him with Arctic again? Okay, back off. Let them leave. And then we'll go and get Santa's body interred. You can bury it without any risk of them not coming back to life. I hate the fact they've lit our embrasures on fire. It's uranium. That's ridiculous. Fuck, those guys. I was not prepared for that. That was insane. Wow. I would never think I would need uh, fire foam poppers for sandbags and uranium. But here we are. We're in a, we're in a new era of RimWorld now. Give it a few days and Santa will resurrect. If he hasn't resurrected by, shall we say, the uh, the 10th of december -y? That gives him 11 days. Then we can resurrect him with Arctic. Because I think by then he should have stitched back together. I don't know if any of the magical effects prevent resurrection. Oh man, that took no time at all. Look, he's back already. Hello. Uh, so we should be stitching back together now, from what I recall. Uh, well, I actually killed him then. I guess it, I, I think what the reason why he resurrected so fast is because it was lots of little damage rather than like one big thing that took ages to repair. Fuck off. Give me a minute. Santa. <laughs> He's being so aggressive. We literally had like 15 days of nothing. And now we've got all on a hyper, hyper tech mages. What the hell is that? Hyper tech mages, Ents, and now an elemental assault. Hostile elements have created a breach into your world and preparing to send assault teams through the rift. We must close shut the jaws of oblivion. Uh, or wind elementals is what I meant to say. Turns out wind elementals not fucking all that against uh, laser turrets. <laughs> They're getting annihilated losers. Santa, get in there. Santa, go punch that portal. Wait, did they explode? I, I stand by what I said. Go punch that portal. Turns out Santa is a very, 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 very poor shot. Why is that not taking any damage? Maybe we do need an explosive weapon. This should do it. Yep, that'll do the trick. There we go. Well done, everyone. Hey, nice. Rift is closed. We got an arcane gen of learning. What does that do? Increase all XP by 10%. Hello. That could be very good for Santa, who's been resurrected a couple of times right now. We can infuse his prayer to suit with learning. Holy shit. Santa the Giga Chad. Big brain. Big, big mind. Big muscles. Major gem of learning, 15%. Wait, what was that one? Was that just a boring old regular gem of learning? Oh, rubbish. I'm not going to waste that on Santa. I'll waste that on someone way less important, like... Uh, pick someone quick. Uh, uh, corrupt. <laughs> Get fucked, corrupt. Okay, then. Question one. Can we run an oil pipeline to the ships? We can. They can automatically refuel. That is incredible news. Uh, maybe we shouldn't run it through the through the wall. We'll run it just behind the ships, I guess. Uh, question two. How the hell do I use them to nuke things? Load group. Uh, send, uh, Santa on a little bit of a Christmas, uh, present delivery. Bomb target. Carpet bomb or precise drop. What? Cannot bomb here unless the map is loaded. Oh. Okay, slight change of plan. If we want to bomb the mushroom people, it generally takes up like 1.2 days to get across the bridge. So I thought, can't be bothered with that. We're going to nuke these cowboys instead. Oh my... Oh, they've got a load of anima trees too. They've basically got a fucking running strip here for Santa just bombing. What the hell is this? We're bombing a fucking opticians. Oh, he's off. He's off. Santa's gone. Uh, Breaker Breaker uh, 69er, this is uh, Sleigh Bells, this is Sleigh Bells coming in for my bombing run, over, please, please clear the, clear the area. Okay, here he comes, brace yourself. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, it's disgusting. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that opticians. Oh, Christmas Jarvis, what happened? Oh, he's got scratched by an emu. Wow, good work. I'm not even mad. <laughs> Holy shit, never saw it coming. <laughs> we take that 35 pairs of awful glasses if we really feel like it. A Nyaran made hairband. 
God, that was not worth the that was not worth the cost, was it? Holy shit. Go home. Oh, and there goes Santa too. It's a race between <laughs> Rudolph and Santa and somehow fucking Joris Joris is faster than a fucking plane. <laughs> He actually won. <laughs> there we are. What a what a what a day. What a fucking day. Wow. Oh my god. Solon tried to woo Mr. Kitzler by describing her as a crazy shrub. Mr. Kitzler became aroused and agreed to be Solon's lover. They want to sleep together, consider assigning them a double bed. Solon married to Arctic has begun an affair with Mr. Kitzler. What the fuck? You can't do that. Oh, someone's gonna get fucking murdered here. I can see it. We've got another one of these as well. The mysterious shit parts. Last time I tried to destroy it, it did nothing. But this time it says destroy it. So let's fucking destroy it. Let's absolutely kill it dead. We could stand on this side of the kill box, which is probably a terrible idea because we might end up just drowning to death. Oh, hello. That's a whole bunch of boys. Fucking hell, that laser that he fired annihilated them though, huh? Wow, that's impressive stuff. Solon, come down. Okay. Okay, we've got we've got melee squad up here getting peppered. We need to move them behind a wall, don't we? Careful, careful, careful. Right, melee squad are in a good position. Oh my god, we're annihilating them. We're absolutely annihilating them. This is fantastic. You know what? Fucking search and destroy. Get the melee squad. Kill! Oh my god, look at them go. That's fucked. Oh, that's incredible. I love it. Wow, they just do not give a fuck, do they? Unfazed. Well, Nats is very phased. In fact, he is uh, dead. Did they genuinely... They genuinely got a shot through into Natsa from there. Are you fucking kidding me? A peace bringer. Hit Zoe with a projectile. Natsa died. What the hell are you talking about? Ah, oh, there we are. That's better. The peace bringer... Wait, peace bringer died, but then its energy bolt hit Natsa afterwards. That's fucking crazy. That's crazy. Santa, bring him back, for God's sake. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, sir? Oh, accelerated time. I accelerated time! No, I've double killed him! <laughs> no! And good as new. Wait, maybe I did reverse time. Wait, whoa, 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 what? I watched it back. I did I did reverse time. Oh, fuck. What's wrong with that, sir? He won't get up. Is it because he's a lich? Fuck. Resurrect him. Damn it. Maybe it is because he's a lich. Oh, no. You can't... Re he won't resurrect? What? Because he's a lich? I don't know if any of the magical effects prevent resurrection. What's worse is when we tried to resurrect Natsa with Arctic, it, it created a shockwave that injured everyone else. Holy wrath. So all of our people are injured from that, whatever the hell that was. They got so lucky threading a fucking shot through... What was he stood like there? Through this much. It doesn't matter where they were stood. Obviously, like, minimum two sandbags and a fucking embrasure. We've actually lost a character. And it was one of the big characters, too. I will avenge you. I will avenge you. Oh my god, so they don't have a faction base. Oh, they don't have a faction base? Damn you. Oh, that sucks. Factions, what are they called? You. Where are you? They, they don't have it. They, they're, they're, just, they're just raiders. I sw Are there any of them alive? Patty is alive. Patty, come with Santa. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck off. There's gas in my hole. Oh, dear. Long story short, my secret project didn't work. I've tried explaining this three times. It's 1.20 a.m. I've got four other videos to do today, and I've been awake since 6 a.m. Okay, bear with me here. So, I tried building an antimatter dimension map, map size 6. I thought what would be fun is we stuck the antimatter stuff in there where it's safe. We have a big fucking reactor in its own little dimension. I thought that would just be kind of cool if nothing else. The problem is very 
it is, it's a problem of practicality, right? If there's any jobs that need doing in there, it's not going to get done unless I manually send someone in, at which point I have to remember to manually take them back out. They also can't eat or have any yayo or whatever it is what they want to do while they're in there. Second problem, there's no way to get resources in there reliably, except for potentially putting, and this is the way I was thinking, putting a tax map in there, sending all the taxes into that, but if we don't tithe exactly the resources we need, I have to move them in one by one. I tested that out by building the fa pa faction power generator, which was going to be my early way to get power into this place while we built, you know, the antimatter reactor. This is where problem C came in. Uh, Santa can only carry 11 items at a time. So when you when I needed to put, build this thing, which is uh, like five components and a hundred steel, two components, hundred steel, I had to carry steel in eleven at a time, and that was a massive ball like because it took however many journeys that is. It's it's not practical, and I thought it'd be a really cool idea, but it's just it's just completely impractical. So the first idea of using it as a panic room, probably the best idea I've got for it. I don't know quite what the pocket dimensions are are intended for. Unless you want to go super, super micromanagery or as a prison, as a prison with a, with prison labor and with, um, you know, like, like nutrient paste dispensers, something where you didn't have to pay any attention to it. And if you didn't intend on recruiting the people and you didn't care about prison riots and people fighting each other, etc., 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 you can't, we, it, it's just too impractical to keep putting people in there. It's a really cool mod and a really great idea. Not really going to work for the reason I thought it would. Anyway, I spent a lot of time and effort setting that up, and now I've wasted a lot of time. Um, here's Yeo's town. Uh, this was going to provide power to it, and now it's a waste of time. So I'm just going to, can I destroy it or disband it or something? Because I built it specifically in somewhere where, like, it didn't really matter where it was built because I think all energy bonuses are the same. Shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna scrap that if I can somehow. Oh yeah, delete settlement. There we are. Yep. Goodbye, Yeo's town. It was it was a cool idea, but tragically didn't work. We could use this area for a reactor anyway. You know, we've got a lot of dead space on our home map, and it's way more practical to fill it with resources, get the resources from it, refuel it, whatever, if we haven't got to worry about constantly teleporting people through to a new map. Balls. I'm really annoyed by that, because that was going to be quite fun. Never mind. We've learned a lesson today, and that is... Don't try and resurrect a necromancer. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't it. It was, uh, don't try and build a pocket dimension to hold your antimatter experiments, because it doesn't work. You, you, you probably know that anyway. It's just a it's just a regular day for a lot of you, I'm sure. That disappointment and the death of Natsa. I'm going to go and cry now. Please send your uh, suggestions. Care of fucking look, even OBS is arguing with me. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I don't know if that even will show up. Yeah, oh, well, incredible. Uh, thank you for watching. Please send me your, uh, mod suggestions. Of course, I'm, I'm trying to work a day ahead, uh, so that I can hopefully have Christmas Day off and maybe even Christmas Eve or Boxing Day. My parents are potentially also visiting, depending on the time frame, because, of course, the UK is in, uh, lockdown. Um, but you can have, like, three houses together or something like that, so they're coming to visit literally just after Christmas for a couple of days, too. So I'm trying to record ahead, like, a fair amount of content. Anyway, uh, long story short, be prepared. Thank you to the executive producers over on Coffee. No. Look, look I, I'm... It's like... I've lost my fucking mind doing this, okay? I'm gonna say it. Struggling all, the, all that shit. It's killed me. Thank you to the patrons. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. For their support over on... Get this. Patreon. Thank you to... And I have no idea how to say your name. Krusty Rhino? I think. <laughs> <laughs> Soriel, Zetlock, Moira, X Dr. Don, MD, King Snitch Gaming, Spray Canned, Dumgit, Nero Nightshade, Aromatic Fool, Archbishop, Lilac, Galaxy Wolf, Zaka, and Nick Danger, along with everybody at the Executive Producer Tears over on P -P -P Patreon, and not Coffee, you big fool. Thank you as well to my favourite people. Controversial, maybe, to say this Larry the Emu, Bordoon, Craigon, Coldest Flame, Nox Immortalis, Mao and Kadalbi, Nyankat17, Miati. Ma help me. <laughs> Matteo, Smart One, Distress Morana, and An Aurora as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> it never ends.